Okay, so last week we we presented a challenge as part of my Gwent challenge series to do a bad art contest. You had to make something in MS Paint or on your iPad or something in a, in a bad art program. You could use Photoshop if you stuck to say just the pencil tool, which is generally quite bad anyway. Um, and people have we've apparently got 38 submissions, which is pretty impressive. Okay, I'm surprised to be honest. So we've got a couple of prizes that I'm going to give out. Um, one for best in show, one for most accurate in show, and one for most funniest in show. Okay, and I might give out prizes depending on, you know, if I just feel like it, then I will. I guess we're just going to have to get going, so that art contest, let's get started. So, <laughs> let's go. First one, Davy Jones. I like this. This is good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Philippa Eilhart. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, got nice brushwork there. You know, it's pretty good. Crowns in white. Is there a crown in white, usually? I don't know how far I can go. Okay, so there you go. So that's all. Right, so how many fingers does uh, Philippa Eilhart actually have? We'll need to check that out on the artwork in the future. But very good attempt. <laughs> you know, uh, it's self shaded. <laughs> so she's got six fingers there. We'll have to see. Well done, David Jones. <laughs> I might need to get a pen and paper in case we got winners. David Jones. <laughs> the art critic. <laughs> Zilf did the Brewess. I like that. What are these? <laughs> what are these memes or something going on here? Rainbows. Are we Powerpuff Girls? Not bad. I like the I like the art shading in in the belly there. I don't understand. There's some sort of meme here going on. I feel like there's a meme. Because we've got some, like, but bread and butter, orange juice. <laughs> Dank purple. Dank purple. This one might be inappropriate. So, Dank purple. Please don't create Rani Sergeant me. <laughs> that looks... Look at that. Look at that. Around the outside there. That's... Oh, and he's even put the border in as well. Look at this one. Yeah, that, one's, that one looks pretty good. He's got two swords, continuity confirmed, you know, immersion still in. He's melee. You know, that's, that's pretty good, that one. That one is pretty good. He don't kid one, he's sergeant me, sad face. Well done, Dank, that was pretty nice. Troxnik, here you come. You ready? <laughs> the beard. <laughs> the beard is good. The beard is good. So you guys have put a lot more effort into these than I expected. I mean... Yeah, look at this. The thing around here, which looks really good. And there's a lot of effort gone down here. Hands are not people's forte in this type of thing. But at least he's got four fingers, am I right? <laughs> Troxnik, that's a pretty impressive attempt. You know, you've even got some sort of weird stars going on down here. You know, I guess you used that spray tool, didn't you, in MS Paint? That's really good. I like his, like, kind of hobo-looking beard. Really nice, that one. All right, Ruben. Ruben, what we got? <laughs> okay, so Ruben is he pretty nice, nice use of colours. I would say very grey. I don't know if that's what colour it is, but I think it's definitely very accurate. Would you say? So that one's pretty good. You know, <laughs> the, he's, he's decided to put a little bit of grass at the bottom, but only like a couple of strands by the looks of things. But that is pretty impressive. We automatically know what card it is. You know, I think all of these so far, we know exactly what card it is. So, it's a very good card there. Captured poses just right. That is, like, you know, really good. Um, really good. The poses. Mirror Cats has done one. So, some of these might be photoshopped, which obviously aren't eligible, but you put them in just for um, comedic effects. And <laughs> that, that one is one of them. So, uh, not eligible <laughs> in this particular one. But... Uh, Still very, very good there, you know? But uh, Pokemon, that is... Is that a Pokemon that I know? Is that Ghastly? Pretty much Ghastly. <laughs> very good attempt, Mirror Cats. Oh, he's in another one. <laughs> Ghostbusters. That one's good. I feel like that one's higher quality than the one before for some reason. Which is a bit odd. But uh, quality effort. Now, this is where I said uh, later on we would do a Photoshop uh, contest. Or something where you could actually edit and manipulate the actual image. Because these are really, really good. What a mirror cat. That was really nice. <laughs> Wellope Siped. 
What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, he's put some style into this one. It's like a Picasso. I think I can tell which one that is, actually. Um, can you guys guess it? I think I know which one that is. That one is... Was this done on a different program to MS Paint, then? Was this, is this what you see an iPad one as? Because this one is Crush on Crate Warrior. Crush on Crate Warrior. You can tell because he's got an arm there and the and the dog there biting his arm and you've got a wolf down there and these things are the ones that, bits that give it away. So, Clan on Crate Warrior, yes, indeed. Well done. Interesting art style. Zakush. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's make Mahakam great again. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's eligible, but that is great, you know? But still very good. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say every time I play Barclay from now on. Confirmed. I'm going to say, let's make Mahakam great again. Play Barclay. It's really good. I like that. Good good idea. Zilf's entry. <laughs> He-Man. Basically He-Man. What does he actually mean it to be He-Man? It's obviously Ragnarug. But uh, very nice. i try and do effects here. This is, is this just premium artwork I'm seeing here? I think this is actual legitimate premium artwork. And did you basically pull that off He-Man? Because he's got a symbol down there. And I'm not sure of Ragnarud's Hemdal symbol, but that definitely looks like a Thundercat, maybe, or um, He-Man related. So, wow, good try. <laughs> Ruben. A second entry from Ruben here. I'm not BM guy. <laughs> right, that's me. <laughs> now, is, is that, yeah, definitely Thundercats. So that, I think, is supposed to be me. <laughs> which is exactly the kind of trousers I wear. It's not BM, guys. <laughs> that is me. We don't know what kind of strength I am. It must be a special card because I have no no strength up there. And I'm not a leader card either. So that's my troll entry. That's fine. That was good. It makes me laugh. I like it. <laughs> oh, savage. It's not BM, guys. Dow. Dow's entry. Oh, my God. What's that? The operator. Some effort's got in there. I can see the effort. That's very good. Is he normally that black? But uh, that's some good effort. Operator, one of our favourite cards. Yao did a good job. Oh, it's definitely one of his favourite cards. By far. It's BM if they enjoy it. <laughs> it's not BM if they enjoy it. Exactly. So that's Dao's attempt. His favourite... <laughs> his favourite card, you bleedy grind... Blah. You blind greedy fool. Well done, Dao. It's Jesus, <laughs> pretty much. The, his religion. All right, Pedro, Evo. <laughs> All right, that's cute. I like that one. It's cute. So very, very cute card there. Um, it's. I know what it is. It's very good. And to be honest, there's a, a nice bit of shading going on there with the fur, which is probably definitely quite difficult. So, um, good card. Very good card, Pedro. McManuth, he's very good at doing... <laughs> oh, that's good. Now we know what that one is. That is really good. McManuth's really, really pushing the, the boundaries here. That is good. You know, it stands out. He's got some texture on the, uh, on the cape there. He's got nice faces on. Some guy rocking there. Whoop whoop. <laughs> is that, that um, bagpipe music we see? Very, very good attempt there. 10 out of 10 on that one. Very good. Pushing the boundaries. Alright, Zakush. <laughs> what the fuck? Pikachu Thundershock. Pikachu used Thundershock. Emdal getting wrecked. So again, nice, nice card. Um, We can see, look, the water on the... You know, there is some blue lightning there. So the previous Ragnarok card that we saw was actually pretty effective. It must be really hard to, to draw that one. He did a good job earlier, didn't he? Pokemon related. Ruben. Oh, look at that. Oh, the artwork down on the bottom is really, really impressive. Look how good that floor is. You know, there's a lot of detail on that floor and it, sh 
it shades really nicely and on the clouds and oh that just looks really good don't you think that that looks really good you guys are gonna love this one i think this one is a great one nice lot of lot of shading that one's gonna take a while to do very very good that one well up the second entry i think oh what the fuck <laughs> just using the spray <laughs> Uh, so that's brought three jackdaws, which is pretty much identical to brought three jackdaws. You're not allowed to just bring brought three jackdaws in. <laughs> you have to draw some in paint, which you obviously clearly didn't do. It's just full on copy paste the actual artwork. It looks so good. <laughs> but no, it is really stylized. I like that a lot. And we can definitely tell what it is. Um, you know, <laughs> that's in that's definitely for Cassowary. I like it a lot. Well done. Who wants to buy his uh, buy his artwork? It costs two hundred pounds to buy it, buy a printed copy of this. You know, we can even sign it for you if you want. Dank. Right. This is the uh, inappropriate. Let me just check. No, that's fine. Oh wait. Okay, he's got a head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna risk my. Uh, I'll risk my uh, Twitch career on it. It shouldn't be too bad. Dank purple. Here we go. Prince, Prince Priceless. Prince Penis is disloyal. Now I'm risking my um, my Twitch career, Durex. <laughs> that's funny. I think that's funny. I mean, I never really got the meme, but apparently that is uh, something you before banned. Well, we've got it. We got a secondary. We've only had one infraction in my life, but. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. The Jurex is what I initially looked at, but then I saw his head. So <laughs> let's skip that up quickly. Well done. We risked our Twitch career on that one. <laughs> what a dickhead. Right. McManuf. He did the. Um, oh, he did that bagpipe man. Oh, he likes his music. <laughs> oh, that's good. Is that is that Drake Bondu? But he's, he's literally got an amp and an electric guitar now, which is fine. You know, you're allowed to change the pictures, so that is really good. People love that one. I like that one a lot. Well done, McManuf. Proxnick. <laughs> oh, his face. His face is really derpy. Oh, but that arrow looks really good. How you got those lines is, is incredible. But uh, Chaotic Priest, thank you very much. <laughs> so... His lips, really, I just can't stop looking at his lips, you know? Something's wrong with his face, I'm not sure what it is. It's, uh, <laughs> the face, <laughs> the face is too much. I like the trees though, the bushes have got these really weird, uh, big flat square lines on them, which looks really interesting. I don't know about these, oh, the trees actually, they could be like beech wood trees. If you can identify the trees in MS Paint, then, you know, <laughs> it's gotta be good. Right, Senf. Senf got one. You could try to drink them all, but you won't. <laughs> so, here's to you. You can try to drink them all, but you won't. Um, I think I have more hair than that. If that's <laughs> if that's me, I think I have more hair than that. But very good one. Nice one, Senf. Nice one, Senf. The Koosh. It's the Koosh's next one. New keg, so excited, so wow. Okay, <laughs> interesting. You're trying to add the uh, flavor on there. Okay, well done. Uh, obviously, <laughs> trying to meme me out there. Too much meme in that one. <laughs> Ruben. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god. Surprising or what? This is the book, the three hour book, three jackdaws. Wow, right. Ruben really showing how MS Paint works right now. He had the clear skies earlier. This Bork 3 Dactyls looks good enough to pretty much go in the game right now. That is really impressive. His shading is so good. Holy shit. I think everyone's agreeing. Holy shit. That is impressive. Colors match. It looks really good. Oh, man. Could be 2 hours 30 minutes. Damn. I mean, like... Damn, you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well done, Ruben. That's really nice. Troxic. Troxnick. 
Oh, cheeseburger. So is that Prince Penis? But, uh, just cheeseburger? For some reason, instead of crown? I like it, though. Very anime in the eyes, though, which is really nice. Nice background, too. I don't know what that fish is there. What's this fish? I need to look at the official artwork. There seems to be a bit of a fish going on there, but that's really impressively done as well. But, uh, very good. Very good one there. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, that is really good, too. I like that belt. McManus, third attempt. <laughs> we saw that one. We saw that one a while ago. That one's really good as well. So this one is Skjall. Um I like the face on this one. We have seen this one before. Uh, I don't know what's going on with his eyes, though, but it just makes it more funny. I like it a lot. Well, a kite. He's got a third entry now, I think. God, he's going for such wacky art styles. This one's hard. This one's not easy. Identify it, guys. What is it? Oh, man. Thank you, man. Hmm. What is it? Hmm. Now. It, uh, can't tell what it is yet. Uh, can't tell what it is yet. I mean, the purple kind of signifies Skelliger, and the grey in the middle kind of makes me think a bit Sig Sigadrifa, maybe. I'm trying to look for a piece, one little piece which identifies, helps me identify what's going on. Or it's just a fucking piece of mess. <laughs> it's just a fucking mess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> We don't have one of those cards yet. It's an unrevealed card. Too abstract. <laughs> you know, there's abstract and then there's two abstracts. Hemdell, obviously. Obviously Hemdell. Um, I think, yeah, I think there's definitely a brown banner there. That might indicate it's neutral. Right, well, I'd love to hear what it actually is, well, kiped. It's the operator. Is it the operator? <laughs> it's the operator. Oh, we can see it. He's got the staff. He's got the staff there. It's got magic going on in the background, maybe. And it is neutral. Alright, we can see it. Alright. And he's got the silver border. That's silver border, is it? Maybe. It's, it's, you're pushing it. <laughs> you're pushing it. Troxnik. <laughs> oh, dear. Odrin's had better days. <laughs> that one. I mean, he's so thin. <laughs> he looks so thin. Like he's not actually had a good meal in ever. He's just drinking beer. But uh, definitely we know who it is. A very good attempt there. In fact, I think the handle there is the best part. You know? Uh, but you managed to even look really, really... A lot of, a lot of weight loss going on in Odrin there, I think, Troxnik. <laughs> He's lost a lot of weight. Yes, he has. Davy Jones. So we've... we've you know, back to Davy Jones. Killed them all. So, sadly, we know what that is. But David Jones, Imlarith, which is sad that we know this. Uh, he's got a penis on his face, I think. I think he's done a bit of a penis there. Um, <laughs> we, if we get, if you don't get banned for the previous one, and we get banned for this one, then I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be complaining, Twitch. But uh, Imlarith lacks. I think it lacks a bit of colour, you know. <laughs> how many, how many different arm plates has he got as well? Like he's got. Shoulder pad there, arm plate, elbow, second elbow, uh, gauntlet, second gauntlet, fist, and another fist, or is that the... I don't even know. Zilf. <laughs> I would like to tickle you. So basically, rain, fog, and frost. That's a bit of creativity there. I don't know if you need, you put that down so we know what card it was, but uh, she doesn't look as cute. As she once was, you know, her face is kind of scary. Decent card there. Tell what it is. Black colours, but uh, definitely we know what it is. <laughs> what card is that? He's got an arrow to the knee. Is this a? <laughs> He's got arrow on the knee. So is this? Uh... Oh, this is the axe man. I used to be an axe man. Adventure like you. I took an arrow to the knee. Does he have an arrow in the knee? In the actual card artwork? Does he really? I didn't... I need to... I don't need to check that out. I, um... I didn't know if he actually had an arrow to the knee. Or if he had one. 
or whether this is just a meme going on. Alright, that's the Axeman, I think. Alright, well done, McManuff. <laughs> your faces are really good, McManuff. I like, I like your faces. Troxnick, another Troxnick. Was there Sarah? <laughs> that's good. That is really nice. I mean, it's kind of flat, cell shaded, but it works really well. You know, it's got a nice, distinct art style to it with still some relative good detail. Again, it looks like he's lost a lot of weight. <laughs> I don't know why his ribs seem so pronounced, but Ockfist, really good on Ockfist there. Starry night sky is peaceful, you know. His mouth looks really nice as well. This one looks really good. It's very flat, cell shaded. The fire looks really good down there though. But the flat kind of works because he's outlined it nicely, which looks really nice. It's uh, quite impressive, actually. The Chicken of Quartz Mountain. <laughs> uh, do Duo Do Do. Oh, he did a, a Prince as well. That's very unique artwork there. I, I really like his gauntlets. They look really good. That is really unique. I like that. Okay. It's really good. He's, he decided to keep the card in there as well. Oliver. That looks really good. I like that a lot. Has he got eyes <laughs> in the original artwork? That's a question I've got for you. No square tell here. I think we'll probably see Ethan Grimm. Right? That was one that someone's very, pal, uh, very proud of. That looks really nice. I like the kind of the tone there looks really good. Kind of a lot of this kind of colour, but you know, only slight gradients on it, and it look, works really well. I like that one a lot. The moonlight, yeah, it works really good. Well equipped. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? I like a piece of cheese. Um, pizza. We've got to figure out what this one is. Is it Quen? No, it wouldn't be Quen, would it? It's a bit bit too early for Quen. That's a card back. No, there's no card backs like that. This makes you feel better about your paint skills. I mean, it, what I see is actually quite good, but I have no idea what it is. Margarita? Oh, is there a cheese? Ah, oh, Margarita. Ah, oh, we're quitting life. I think margarita is a drink, but it might be there's something like that with type of cheese. You play it and pizza is ordered. <laughs> oh, it <laughs> can be. Now, that's got to be a personal favourite in terms of the actual card. But uh, there's definitely not as much effort gone into this one, Commander, as your other ones. But uh, it looks like he's got the sword up his butt, to be honest. Uh, I, I do like Canby. So a little bit of uh, personal favour going into this one. Tom TP. Oh, yo! The art style on that one. His face is, is great. I like that a lot. Very screamish. If you look at this guy's face here, it looks very scream. I like this one's. This one's good. Guys. This one is very impressive. You know, it's just, oh, Tom TP, you've done a very good job here. Very good. I wouldn't mind getting ratted by this guy. So abstract, such expressionist, expressionist ratted. It looks really good. God, that looks. Oh, these, some of these are really impressive. When I said bad art, I didn't expect to see some badass art. Very impressive. Ruben. This is apparently Ruben's masterpiece. Disqualified because Radovid? <laughs> no. Um, Ruben, this is your masterpiece. Your legacy. I'm, I'm expecting it's Eason Grimm, but is it? Oh no, we've already seen... Oh, Siri. Oh my god. Ruben, how much time do you have on your hands, man? These are really impressive. The shading is top-notch. You put too much effort into, <laughs> into MS, MS Paint. This is really good. I still think uh, Bork 3 Jackdaws is a little better than this one. The, you've got the dynamic in everything, but the action shot is definitely there, which is really good. These artists, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, my, my chat is full of artists. That's really good, that one. Hmm. But what is this? <laughs> he, fr he framed it as well. I didn't expect that. That looks really good. I wouldn't mind having that in the game. I wouldn't mind. 
That looks really good. Now that that is to that's not uh, disqualified because he's used the thing because obviously he's just showing me, which is really good. That's how you that's how you get through. You fail at bad art, Ruben. <laughs> that's really good. He boarded it. <laughs> his face. His face. He's too happy. <laughs> why is he so happy? Oh my lord. And what's, why has he got a big lobster claw for a hand as well? Which is a bit weird. <laughs> oh, his happy face. Happy Hemdell. <laughs> uh, Homer Simpson? It does look kind of Homer Simpson. Uh, last one is, next one is last one. Poe Destroyer? Oh wait, this is a, this is a YouTube video. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's premiumed it. <laughs> oh, he's, that's how you think outside the box. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Glorious. Let me set it to lower speed. Look at these frames. <laughs> oh. Premium Geralt. That is really impressive. Premium bad art. <laughs> oh yes. This is premium bad art, man. You guys are a lot more talented than I expected. Which is like so good. I'm so glad we did this. That's the normal speed, which is really good. <laughs> there you go. So it looks like I'm giving away nine prizes. So second most accurate in show goes to Dank Purple for his Geralt. Okay. Most uh, second most accurate in show. Uh, I, I've done these in such a way that if you already won a prize, then you can't win the prize again. So the winner of most accurate in show goes to Pedro Evo for his Adrenaline Rush, which is exactly pretty much like the card that you can see. So definitely deserve to get most accurate in show with that one. Because this is pretty much exactly the same. So my second most stylized in show goes to Wellokyoped. Wellokyoped. Or his Bork Three Jackdaws. Second most stylized in show. Okay. Really interesting that one. Well played. Very, very well done there. Very good stylized. The only person that actually used full on spray, ca spray can is uh, <laughs> pretty impressive. So my first most stylized in show goes to Oliver, also known as Do Duo Do Do, or his Prince Stennis. Nobody noticed the mistake that I did a moment ago, don't worry about that. But that is really good and, you know, I really like that style that he's got there, so it definitely deserves to win as most stylized in show. I mean, that is, that is really good. I mean, it's weird, you use, you use only a few colours, but it just looks so... I don't know, it just looks really good around his arms and the table. So well done, Aluva. So my second most funny in show goes to McManuff for his Van Heme Scald, which looks really good and made me laugh quite a bit because of his face and the wub wubbing, which is really, really good there. Um, so well done. <laughs> so the one that made me laugh the most, uh, most funniest in show, was Troxnick's. Weight loss Odrin, which always gets me. Um, I, I laughed a lot more at this. I don't know why the weight loss got me. I don't know if that was intended, but it really got me going uh, with the weight loss there. So definitely deserved <laughs> funny weight loss Odrin. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So my second best in show goes to Tom TP for his Radovid. Which I think, you know, could have even won the artistic side. Definitely very good. You know, it definitely has an artistic side to it now. I look at it again, but it's uh, already won the second best in show. I really like that. The sort of vertical lines and all the lines just really... Oh, it's just, you know, really quite good there. So that's why I didn't win the artistic uh, stylized one, sorry. Because it had already won best in show number two. So well done, Tom. I think that one looks really, really good. So my first in show was very difficult, but uh, I chose Siri Dash because there is a lot more action going on in this particular one and uh, more 
effort has been placed into this one rather than the Bork 3 Jackdaws. Even though the Bork 3 Jackdaws or the Clear Skies could have definitely won, um, it just looks pretty much absolutely identical. So it could have won accurate, but it had already won Best in Show, so it definitely deserves a slot in Best in Show. Okay. Okay, so, you know, we've got one extra slot, uh, one extra prize to give away to Code Destroyer. This hasn't entered into any of the other categories, although it could go in, you know, most accurate. Let's stick it into its own category of best premium in show, because we all knew, you know, best premium in show is definitely... <laughs> that is good. I mean, really, really good there. So, Code Destroyer definitely deserves it for that, for thinking outside the box. You know, he must have animated that in some way. You know, several different slides there. Um, really impressive. So, best premium... Premium art in show. Thank you for everyone for for submitting your artworks. Good try to everyone. You know, there's a lot of good pictures here. Attempt. I thank you everyone who uh, decided to submit pieces of art. I really didn't think we'd get this many. I really didn't think we'd get such good quality pieces of bad art. Some of them, most of them, borderline not even bad art. You know, which is amazing.